I feel like this year might just be another incredible year for gaming. 2023, in my opinion, was one of the best years for gaming. It might be very close second to 1998, which in my opinion is the greatest year for gaming ever. But um, yeah, super excited for a number of games dropping this year. And uh, I wanted to share that with you guys and kind of check out this trailer and see which games I would be looking to get and which games I'm looking out for. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please consider leaving a like and all those things. But uh, regardless, let's check it out. There we go. Tekken 2024, baby. Final Fantasy Rebirth. Let's go. 100% getting that. How drivers? Two. Don't know much about that one. Tekken 8. 100% getting this. So excited for Tekken 8. Stellar Blade. Project Eve. I think I've been watching this one since about 2019. It looks incredible. Rise of Ronin. Dude, Ghost of Tsushima is one of my all-time favorite games. I'm totally checking that one out. Suicide Squad, I'm good. I'm good. This one also looks like... Yeah, I might hold off a bit on that one. Prince of Persia, dude, beautiful. I made a reaction video on that one. Pacific Drive, yep. Silent Hill. Apparently it's gonna drop 2024. Super excited. Dragon's Dogma 2. Dude, since 2013 we've been looking for that sequel. Brickia. I haven't actually seen it too much of that one. Foam Stars. Splatoon kind of vibes, yeah? Casting a Frank Stone. Might check that one out. Metal Gear Solid. I don't know. I might give it a go. Might give it a go. I'm good with The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. Honestly, man, I feel like I played this one just a few years ago. I'm gonna spend some more money on that one. Tekken 8. Beautiful, dude. PS5. Let's rock out, man. Alright, and that is the upcoming games of 2024. Super excited for Stellar Blade, uh, Project Eve. I think this one, um, kind of, I've been following this one since 2019. I think it was supposed to release in December 2023, but got pushed back. Um, I hope there's no further delays in this one. I really want to check out this game. It's got that near Automata vibes, which I'm a massive fan of. So i um, super excited for this one. Tekken 8. Um, Dude, um, I started a Let's Play series a couple of months ago. Started with Tekken 1 and worked my way up to... Um, they're looking to work my way up to Tekken 8, so... Yeah, I've, uh, I've spoken so much about this game. I'm looking forward to this one. That final showdown, Jin versus Kazuya. Because it was um, Kazuya and Heihachi in Tekken 7. So it would be cool to kind of see the Mishima saga uh, conclude and, and get to that ending. So, um, but yeah, Prince of Persia. Beautiful 2.5D side scrolling Metroidvania elements, which um, it's pretty cool. I think that's a winning recipe, in my opinion. Um, it, it just everything about this game, the art style, and it just seems to work. I'm super excited for this one. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, uh, kind of part two. It's Final Fantasy 7 is my childhood, so. Yeah, automatically, I'm, I'm just super down to get this one. Rise of the Ronin, Ghost of Tsushima, kind of similar vibes. Ghost of Tsushima, what a, what an incredible game. It's one of the most dramatic final battles, in my opinion, in gaming. I won't spoil too much, but uh, yeah, I was just on the edge of my seat the whole time playing Ghost of Tsushima. But um, the Rise of Ronin, definitely up there. It's a game I would be looking to, to get for sure. Um, yeah, and the Tomb Raiders, the Tomb Raider 1 to 3 remasters. Um, that is another game. I think it drops in February, if I'm not mistaken. That is another one I would be looking to get. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are, guys, and which games you would be looking to get. And 
uh, which games you guys are excited for. If, you know, if you like this video and this type of stuff, please consider giving us, a, giving me a like, subscribe and all those things. But uh, regardless, have a good one. Until next time, see ya.